An artist friend of mine uh, asked me today if uh, this was a new piece, uh, my uh, snowflower piece. And I said, no, I started it quite a while ago. It was a bust. And um, I thought at that moment that it might be interesting for you also. Some of you came in late on the creating creation of Snowflower, and you don't know how it started. The morph, morphing of Snowflower from a bust to uh, a full figure. And I thought I'd put together a short video, or a video, with all the videos that I took of the creation of this new piece, this uh, morphing of Snowflower. So that's what you're going to be watching next, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, I'm going to be uh, working on this guy, this lady. I'm going to redo her as a full figure sitting on the ground and uh, I'm going to put up a picture here of what I'm thinking of doing. I took this photo of a uh, Crow Indian woman who uh, was dressed as a Cheyenne woman back in 2007 I think it was uh, and uh, I was thinking about this over the last couple of days of what I would do next and I like this piece I just don't like her head and hair face yet um, but I want to do something different and I want to do it a full figure and so that was what I was thinking of doing so I'm gonna see if I can and I'll be right back with more time to play with some play Okay, I gotta take this off the base first. This is a wood base. If you remember correctly from when I started this piece weeks ago. I can't remember when I started this thing. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to do this without wrecking everything. Well, I'm gonna have to take this clay off, I think. That's a waste. I'm not worried about destroying it. It's a little hard to see. I just need to take off the base. Of course, a lot of questions about this I got two wooden elves away. It's hard to get unstuck into her. The hell is on to the base. And uh, I got those. Oh, I got the eight flame pieces I'm gonna put down.
Well, I'm redoing her porcupine quill hairbrush again. Uh, Michael Badhan, the authority that I've been uh, listening to, uh, told me that it's too long. And it's uh, the, the uh, bristles on the tail are way too long, too. And it's actually thinner the whole thing than what I've got. And I agree, it is thinner. And I'm going to do some bead work on it this time because that's really what's on the thing. And these are old uh, hairbrushes that uh, belong to the Blackfeet. And uh, I can't argue with those. So I'm, uh, I made the uh, hairbrush stem the thing that the uh, skin of the tail would have been sewed or glued to or whatever they did to it. And I'm going to put it on this stick. Well, this has certainly been a learning exercise for me um, learning about this uh, type of hairbrush that the uh, Blackfeet used and uh, I'm just glad I was I have a good friend that uh, knows what he's talking about and was able to help me uh, be correct in my uh, design I'm going to uh, set this aside now. Uh, it's far enough along for me to take it to the foundry and get a bid on it. Because um, right now I have, I'm not going to go any further with it because uh, it would just be a waste of my time right now. It's, it's as close to being done as I can get it. I've got the stripe to do on the blanket. I'll put up a picture of a trade blanket here and probably the color of the trade blanket that I'm going to do. Somebody suggested um, in my comments area of my, I think one of my videos, maybe the last one, I can't remember which, that uh, maybe moving her arm over and having the hairbrush laying down on the, you know, blanket in her hand would, you know, eliminate the cost of casting this whole thing out here by itself but I looking at it I can't see of any place where I could do that without completely changing the whole feeling of this piece by having her arm the elbow back further and her hand here at the end of her hand and the things laying down here so it's just not worth all that re-sculpting to do that I'll, I'll keep it way it is for now. It was a good suggestion though. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I uh, will be seeing you guys probably in next week. I don't know. I might do something this week, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm uh, going through the uh, different molds that I've got to pick up. I've got six molds that I have to take over to the foundry. And each mold has multiple parts to them. Now, one mold alone has probably 20 parts. So I've got to uh, figure out how I'm going to get those loaded up and get them over to the foundry. I've got a friend, uh, 
who volunteered to use his truck. And, but right now we're waiting for the roads to clear and uh, this weather to clear up. Winter is not giving up easy here in Montana. And uh, next week it should be in the high 60s. So we're going to probably go over to the foundry in Livingston next week. All right, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.